Right, today I'd like to show you this website called onmaths.com. Um, this has some fantastic resources on it to help your revision, but it is a site that you have to register to to be able to access it. Registration is completely free, create a username, put your email address in, and obviously no class code is needed. And once you've done all that, you'll get a confirmation email with your username and password, and then you can simply log in to a screen like this. Yes, not the most prettiest of screens, but the resources on there are fantastic. Now it's these four things that I want to show you today. The predicted, the topic, the demons, and the mini mocks. Now predicted is simply past test papers that they have predicted for each year. Now it doesn't matter which, which um, test paper you're taking, NXL, AQA, or OCR, they're all on there, and there's higher and foundation. So if we just look at their predicted paper for 2019 uh, for the NXL, now if we simply click on it and press start paper, we can go through and answer the questions. Now in this case, this is a multiple choice one, where when you click next, it changes the different points on your scatter graph, and then you just leave it on the one you want to answer. And same with this, when you want to put your line of best fit in, okay, they keep changing it as well. And then you can put a numerical answer in here, or there's a multiple choice for different sentences here. Once you've put in all your answers, you can simply click mark and it tells you how many you got correct when you answered the question. Now they're not all multiple choice, in some cases you may have to type, so when we want to factorise this out, we simply do our factorisation, and we actually have to type in our answers here. Okay, and then we click mark. Now, when you start getting your questions right, you'll see you have two green bars coming along here. This side are all the questions you've done, and this side are all the points you've picked up, and it actually shows you how close you're getting to each grade boundary. I think is really really good so you can see how far off you were a particular grade. Now as you go through the questions if you happen to get stuck on any questions what's really really nice is here there is a YouTube video linked to this test paper. Now what you'll notice if you reload this test paper up it will come up with different numbers and different letters and slightly change the questions but still be pretty much based around the same topic and this is exactly what this video is linked to. If we click watch it will actually show us every single question and how you go through answering it. So if you ever get stuck, show you how to work it out. And they'll be showing you how to work out with slightly different numbers, okay, which isn't which isn't a big deal. Actually, it helps you revise even better. So you know when you come back, you can't just copy their workings out word for word. You have to then reapply it to what you were doing. Struggling on a particular topic, they also have that broken down. They have that broken down into higher round foundation and obviously into the different areas. So if we wanted to practice estimation, it's a very similar sort of layout. It's laid out as an exam question and it takes you up through. So the U questions are the nice easier ones and the more and more we go through, the harder they get. Okay, and then we just keep on submitting our different answers and we work our way up through the list. And that's pretty much basics for topics. Okay, higher foundation and all the different topics that are laid out there. Now, demons. Now this is when they've taken the really, really difficult questions from different topics, from different papers, and this is when you really, really want to push yourself. Those who are, high, who are aiming for the real top grade, these are the sort of questions that you want to be pushing yourself onto. Okay, and it works exactly the same way. We simply load it up and go through the questions, putting in our answers. Or if you haven't got very long, but you want to try and smash out um, some quick revision or a quick test paper, they have some mini mocks here as well. Okay, where we can start the paper, and there's not as many questions. You'll see this bit's only out of 20. Okay? But maybe this is just good if you've only got a spare five, 10 minutes and you want to just quickly get some revision done out of the way. Works exactly the same way. We sub in our answers, press mark, and then it tells us if this paper was just out of 20, how close we'd be to each grey boundary. And that's on maths, ladies and gents. Like I say, not the prettiest of looking sites, but comes with all these videos, comes with all these different questions, all the different past papers and predicted papers. I can't rate it enough. I think this is a really, really useful revision tool. If you would like to use it, like I say, it's completely free. You just have to register. I hope this helps.